Hi, I'm Chef Tammy Brawley from The Green Kitchen, and I'm excited today to show you a refreshing salad. It's great in the summertime. We've got some beautiful mushrooms being grown here in Virginia, and this is a raw mushroom salad. Very, very refreshing. I've already started my pretty platter here. I'm gonna tell you a couple different things that we're gonna do. Um, we have got some baby uh, button mushrooms, and then we've got some shiitakes any mushroom of choice. I will say that I think the portabellas are a little bit thicker in nature and flavor and a mouthfeel. So maybe not the portabellas, but your oyster mushrooms, your enoki mushrooms, all of those are really good to use in this. What I've started is a beautiful platter here. I'm gonna finish it up for you. Um, we've got a layer of the uh, shiitakes and a layer of the buttons. But let's first talk about cleaning the mushrooms. Um, Whenever you're gonna do anything with a mushroom, depending on if you're gonna to try to saute it um, or roast it, you really, um, you really don't wanna run them under water. They are notoriously high in a water content anyway. So to clean a mushroom, particularly for a raw mushroom salad, get yourself a damp paper towel, which is what I've done here, and you're just gonna wipe the dirt off, all right? Not introducing any more water. It's not gonna affect my salad dressing that we're gonna use for this. And for this particular recipe, I'm not going to use the mushroom um, stems. So we're gonna pop that right off. You might want to come back and clean it a little bit. That's just more for presentation purposes. Um, this is not a necessary step for the salad itself, but it does look prettier. So we'll get rid of kind of the guts there. I'm not taking the gills out. They're staying the same. And then we're just going to take a knife and we're going to thinly slice the mushrooms. Um, your recipe that you're going to see online does tell you to toss them in a large bowl with the parsley. I personally prefer this because of the presentation purposes. So we're just going to come back to our platter here and put a couple of shiitakes and a couple more buttons. You want to go right into the middle as well. Cover your pretty platter that you've got there. Maybe cut a couple more. I love shiitakes. They're actually one of my favorite mushrooms. And mushrooms are extremely healthy for you. If, if you can like, if you like them, they're extremely healthy. So now we've got a beautiful platter there. What I've done here is I've started some lemon zest. You want to take a microplane grater. These are great to use. Um, I do find that people use them wrong, um, so I'd like to show you the right way. Um, this has a track on the top, on the front there. Um, a lot of people turn it over and they're doing this and they're doing this, and that is actually incorrect. You want to turn it over the opposite way, and you want to turn your fruit in your hand while you're zesting. And what you see here is the track is collecting the zest. So, and then the benefit to that also is that I, need, I can see how far to go down into the lemon. If I were to go much further into that white part, it's called pith, P-I-T-H, it is bitter and it will introduce a bad flavor to whatever you're using. So you wanna douse your uh, zest into a bowl like this. And now we're gonna juice the lemon. I'm gonna leave the zest for garnish and you'll see that in just a moment. I love to cut off the ends of the lemon before I juice it. And then one thing that's really important as well for a lemon is you want to use a strainer, okay, because it does have a lot of seeds in it. So I put a strainer over my bowl, cut my lemon in half. I'm going to pop the lemon into my hand juicer here, squeeze it over top of the strainer. It'll catch any seeds, any possible seeds that might come out. Some people juice them over their hands and they catch the seeds that way, and that's fine too. Whatever works for you, this is my preference. So we're through with the juicing of the lemon. We've strained it. There are no seeds in that. Really happy about that. And now I'm going to come back and I'm going to add um, some parsley to that. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. And then I'm going to add about two tablespoons. I've cut the recipe in half, but I think the recipe calls for four or, or a quarter of a cup. We're going to pop the olive oil in that. Very basic and fresh, fresh dressing. This is delicious on the salads itself. It doesn't have to be just the mushroom salad. I'm gonna whisk that up. And we're just kind of blending it together, kind of getting two things to get married that don't wanna get married, a, an acid and an oil. It's picking up a nice little froth there. I love that, it's beautiful. I'm gonna reach across and grab a spoon here. And then we're gonna drizzle this dressing. You could pour it if you wanted to, but you might overdo it. Don't want to do that. We're going to drizzle the dressing over top of those beautiful mushrooms. You can see it's starting to pick up a gorgeous color. And with that lemon, this is just such a bright, bright salad. I love doing this. And how much? Well, it depends on you. You know, you might have a taste for a little bit more, a little bit less even. Um, knowing how much I like lemon, we tend to use all of it. And as you can see, it's all of it done there. 
And then last, we are going to top it with some shaved Parmesan cheese and some of that zest of the lemon. The Parmesan cheese, it's, you can use shredded cheese if you'd like. I like to use the shaved. I think it gives it a little bit more um, depth for your presentation purposes. And then last, we're going to hit it with some of this lemon zest. And pick up a little bit more of the yellow color. Absolutely a beautiful presentation there. Nice, fresh salad on these hot summer days. And there you have it. I'm Tammy Brawley with your Green Kitchen. That was a raw mushroom salad. Join us next time on Heart of the Home. Recipes from the Heart of the Home can be found on the Virginia Farm Bureau website at vafb.com slash recipes, as well as on Chef Tammy Brawley's website at greenkitchenrichmond.com.